I'll show you an easy way to swap out clutch springs for the 139 QMB, the 50cc four-stroke scooters. I'm going to be swapping out these 1500 RPM springs for a set of 2000 RPM springs. Both of these are fairly stiff, so if it'll work for these, it should work for about any springs you'll use. The only tool I'll be using is a small curved pick. This one's made by Snap-on. You can get them probably from Craftsman or Harbor Freight, I would imagine, fairly similar. The main thing that's important is you want to have the end curved, kind of like you see here. So to remove a spring, I put the pick under right here, and then pry it up a little bit. Then, take the nose of the pick, work it under the spring and move it forward, like you see, and kind of pry this way a little bit. The spring will start to work its way off. Then you bridge this little gap here, so the pick's all the way across on the other side of the clutch. Pry up, and you can see the spring pops off. Then you just got to kind of work it out of the other side. Spring's removed. You can repeat the process all the way around. It's fairly quick. To install the spring, you should see that you've got a short side and a long side. You'll want to take the short side and put it into this hole here. Once it's in the hole, just kind of maneuver it across so that it's sitting like you see. Then you'll take the pick and slide it under the front of the spring and also work this tip into the hole here. So once you've done that, kind of put a little pressure down on the spring with your thumb and then you can sort of pry up and the spring should pop in. So you see it popped in there and then you just need to make sure it's pressed down into place. And I'll go ahead and do it on the other so you can see it again. So again, short end into this hole, swing it over, get the pick positioned under the front of the spring here, put some pressure down on it, and sort of pry it into place. Do it that way for all three and make sure they're secure. Then your clutch is ready to reinstall. If you need any help getting the clutch off of the rear pulley or back onto it, I've got another video that I'll link you to that shows the whole process.